Next, I'm going to discuss what the try and method of this program. So, if you debug the code, control comes to main function. Hereafter, that coincides. So, I have taken four integer variable. First is n1. Next, n2. x1. x2. Hereafter, c out function. So, whatever we double code, that is printed to the output screen. Enter first number and whatever I'm going to enter. So, that is c by n1. So I'm going to enter n1 value 12 and here after C out function. So this or display to the output screen. So as still then that print eight character eight blank character space or uh, enter second number. So this uh, display to the output screen and whatever I'm going to enter. So that received by n2. So at your n2 value, I'm going to enter six. Here after n1 value go to x. So n1 value is 12. So 12 go to x1. Here after n2 value go to x2 so 6 go to x2 here after control comes to this point while n2 not equal to 0 so n2 value is or 6 6 not equal to 0 condition is true that coincide so at a int b or w so at a b or w equal to not i'm using not operator and and operator so not of n1 and n2 so first i'm going to do Des uh, binary decimal to binary so here yeah, the value 12 so i'm going to convert this one into binary so it divide by 6 times remainder comes 0 so it divide by 3 times remainder comes 0 and here yeah, it divide by 1 times remainder comes 1 so this is the value of n1 So do the binary conversion of 6. So it divide by 3 times. Remainder come 0. So it divide by 1 times. Remainder come 1. So this is the value of n2. So I do first not operator n1. So n1 value is 1, 1, 0, 0. So I am going to con do not of not so whatever whatever the zero value that convert into one and one convert into zero so this is one one zero zero and here after n2 value one one zero one one zero so here i am going to do first and operation so if you give zero at here, so it won't affect anything. So for and operation, so if the value one and one, the value come one, one and one, the value come one, and other case the value come zero. So at here one zero, the value come zero, one one, the value come one, zero one, the value come zero, and here zero zero, the value come zero. So this is the value of BRW so BRW is now one zero and hereafter let's do n one equal to n one zor n two so let's do zor operation so I do one 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 zor one the value come zero and zero zor zero the value come 0 and other case the value come 1 so 1 zor 0 the value come 1 and 0 zor 1 the value come 1 so I do 1 0 the value come 1 1 1 the value come 0 1 0 the value come 1 and 0 0 the value come 0 so n1 value is now 1 0 1 Here after n2 equal to brw left shift 1. So n brw is 1 0. So if you are going to do left shift, so it add 1 0, 1 more 0. Here after that go check the condition n2 not equal to 0. So n2 value is now 1 double 0. 
So, and to value is now one double zero b or w only one zero. So, at your if you convert all this binary to decimal, so at your two power zero, two power one, two power two. So, two power two the value come four, one into four, no four, other case the value come zero. So, at your of uh, four not equal to zero, condition is to that coincide. So, at your int b or w equal to negation of n1. So, n1 value is 1, 0, 1. If I am going to do the negation, so at here, or this convert into 0, and this convert into 1, this convert into 0, and here n2 value 1 double 0, so at here, 1 double 0. So, first uh, I am going to do and operation. So I do it that all case the value comes 0, 0, 0. 0, 0 the value comes 0, 1, 0 the value comes 0, 0, 1 the value comes 0. So I do B or W is now 0. Next part is N1 equal to N1 or N2. So let's do the ZOR operation here. 0, 0 the value comes 0, 1, 0 the value comes 1, 1, 0, 1 the value comes 1. So, ZOR operation 0, 0, the value comes 0. So, this is true. 1 and 1, ZOR 1, the value comes 0. And 0, 0, 0, and 0, ZOR 0, the value comes Or 0, other case, the value comes 1. So, add here. N1 value is 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 0. Here, after N2 equal to BRW, left shift 1. So, BRW is 0, 0 left shift. So, that is now 0, 0. So n2 is now 0, 0, that is 0. Here after that curve, check the condition n2 not equal to 0. So n2 value is 0, 0 not equal to 0. Condition is not to not coincide. Here after control comes to this point. So at you, n1 value is 1, 1, 0. So let's convert this one into our decimal format. So at you, 1, 1, 1, 0. So 0 into 2 power 0. So it start from 2 power 0 plus 1 into 2 power 1 plus 1 into 2 power 2. So 0 into 2 power 0, the value comes 0. Here, 1 into 2 power 2, 1, the value comes 2. And here, 2 power 2, the value comes 4. So 4 plus 2, the value comes 6. So here, this value is now n1 value is 6. So at here, the output control comes to this point. Subtraction of two numbers. So this are displaying to the output screen x1 value or 2n. Uh, this displaying to the output screen and x2 value 6 is n1 value 6. The output comes subtraction of two number 12 and 6 is 6. And here after that out from main function. So this time I enter n1 value 12, n2 value 6. So you can try anything number like uh, give 13, n1 value 13, n2 value or 16 and do the same trial method. So you will get the expected output. So now in this video it's over. So I will discuss one more example. So let's see.
Next, I'm going to discuss what the try and method of this program. So if you divide the code, control comes to main function. Here after that coincides, and I've taken four integer variable. First is n1. Next, n2. T. And count. So I take count n is raised to zero. Here after control comes to this point. See out function. So whatever we told code that is print to the output screen into two numbers. And whatever I'm going to enter, so that is by n1 and n2. So I'm going to enter n1 value 6, n2 value 3. Here after check if n2 greater than n1. So n2 value is 3 and n1 value 6. 3 greater than 6, condition is not true, not coincident. Here after control comes to this point. So at here n2 value go to t. So n2 value is 3, 3 go to t. And here after check the condition t less than n1. So t value is 3, n1 value, n1 value 6. So 3 less than 6, condition is to that coincide. So that increase the value of count. So count is 1. Here after that curve, increase the value of t. So t is now 4. Check the condition. 4 less than n1 value 6, condition is to that coincide. That increase the value of count. So count is now 2. Here after t increase, so t is now 5. Or check the condition, 5 less than 6, condition is to that coincide. So I tell that increase the value of count. So count is now 3. Here after t increase, so t is now 6. Check the conditions. Or oh, 6 less than 6, condition is not to not coincide. Here after control comes to this point. See out function. So whatever we don't got, that is printed to the output screen. Subtraction of 2, n1 value 6 and n2 value 3 is count value 3. So output comes subtraction of 6 and 3 is 3. Suppose if I enter n1 value 3 and n2 value 6. So let's see. So I do n2 greater than n1. So n2 value is 6. n2 n1 value 3. 6 greater than 3. Condition is to that coincide. So I do n2 value go to t. So n2 value is 6. 6 go to t. Here after n1 value go to n n2. So n1 value is 6. 6 go to n2 n1 value is 3, 3 go to n2, so n2 become 3 now, here after t come to n1, t value is 6, 6 comes to n1, here after control comes to follow, so at here n2 value go to t, so n2 value is 3, 3 comes to t, check the condition, 3 less than n1 value 6, condition is to that coincide, that increase the value of count, so count is 1, here after t increase, so t is now 4, check the condition 4 less than 6, condition is to that coincide, that increase the value of count. So count is 2, here after t increase, so t is now 5, check the condition 5 less than 6, condition is to that increase the value of count. So count is now 3, here after t increase, so t is now 6, check the condition 6 less than 6, condition is not to not coincide, here after control comes to this point. So that is subtraction of 2, so n1 value is uh, 6 n2 value is 3 and count value 3. So the output comes subtraction of 2 or 6 and 3 is 3. And hereafter that out from main function. So this is the try and method of this program. So this time I enter n1 value 6 and 3. So next time you should try to enter any other number and do the same try and method. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video.